how did so many intruders get through our borders? And did the government miscalculate the threat they posed? Just some of the questions Pakatan Rakyat wants the government to answer. It is now day 23 since Lahadatu was first intruded by gunmen claiming to be the Sultan of Sulu's army. Pakatan Rakyat reiterated today their demand for an emergency session of parliament to discuss the Lahadatu crisis. I mean, these are, these are the issues that uh, we, we should uh, sit down and uh, discuss uh, seriously uh, as one, you know, as, as, uh, as a united parliament uh, facing uh, 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 <coughs> an external threat and uh, in, in an attempt to find a solution that will uh, benefit uh, in the end all parties, yeah, including uh, obviously the, 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 the Philippine uh, government themselves. Right? Because in a normal democracy, uh, foreign affairs and defense are usually uh, handled in a bipartisan way. So in a normal democracy, when we face with an external threat, this is what a government will have to do. The government will call the security forces to brief both sides. And this is very important because uh, we are entering into an election when there will be, there may, may be a change of government. Opposition leader Anwar Ibrahim says the government should have taken swifter action and blames the lack of information on media censorship. There's a lack of information. In fact, in the first few days, we had more information from out of Manila than out of uh, Malaysia, out of uh, Lahad Datu and the related areas. And it's of course disconcerting because we have a problem here. It's caused a lot of anguish, anxiety and concern among uh, Sabahans who fear for their lives and for their safety and security. He also expressed his condolences to the families of those who lost their lives in the clashes. Tamali Tianmei, Kini TV.